We like old adverts. Welcome to We Like Old Adverts. Today, we're talking about Manchester United. Now, you do not become a global mega brand like United without a lot of commercial partners. So coming up, we have some downright bizarre adverts featuring some questionable acting. Game on, lads. But before we get into that, if you like laughing at weird internet stuff, and who doesn't, we make weekly videos about the funniest and strangest adverts we can find. So if that sounds like it's your thing, then hit that subscribe button. Right, let's get to Old Trafford. I said, have you heard the rumour? What rumour, George? Guys, we have a problem. The boss said that a new devil is arriving. Is he well known? Famous throughout the world. And what do they say about him? They say, he is a legend. <laughs> I love it. It's so <laughs> weird. He's a class actor, Wayne Rooney, isn't he? Oh, he's oh, an yeah. incredible actor. Like watching Marlon Brando. <laughs> they isn't say it? he is a legend. Yeah. A new Imagine. devil is arriving. Imagine, of all the takes you must have done for that, that's the best one. Yeah. They're the worst ones. Because I think for stuff like that, they only get them for like half an hour in a lot of yeah. cases. Because they have so, honestly, there are so many Man United adverts starring Wayne Rooney in particular. He's put the work in, to be fair to him. Yeah. But like, it is, it's just such a weird advert. I love Sid and George at the top. A lot of these yeah, men. Yeah, they're brilliant. Adverts. They have a little kind of sort of the earth nod. I bet it's a brand guideline because you see it everywhere. It's like, hey, we're the club of the people. Don't forget that. Now buy this thing. <laughs> yeah. So then... Sid and George have got access to Wayne Rooney and Patrice Evra and Ryan yeah. Giggs. I think what's, on all this. what's more weird is Patrice Evra, Ryan Giggs and Wayne Rooney have gathered in the posh boxes at Old Trafford in an empty stadium to watch Sid and George working or slacking off from work. Yeah. That's weird. I, I think... I think the Man United players live in the stadium in this advert. Yeah. I think like, they all live there together. I, do, I thought all footballers lived in the stadium. Like, that's the, one of the perks of being a footballer in it. You yeah, get to yeah, like, yeah. hang about in a stadium all the time. That's and right, doing, yeah. Doing keepy uppies for a yeah. camera. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to say this. Ryan Giggs is all right. What do they say about him? I mean, that should come as a surprise to absolutely nobody, though, shouldn't it? <laughs> Ryan Giggs being a pretty good actor. Do you know what I don't like about it, though? How come Ryan's finding out last? Yeah. He's all yeah. like, well, you, you what, Rooney? What, what's that? Oh, what was... around the world. And you know as well, dear. <laughs> also, Ryan Giggs wow. looks like a caterer at first because he's not got his blazer on. It's like, are they all... Do they work in the stadium? Are they like Sid and George? And then, <laughs> at the end of the, the advert, some wine blows up a goal. Well, that's it. Sick. Yeah, no explanation of that. I like, it's essentially a terrorist attack hits Old Trafford and Wayne Rooney just rubs his chin whilst looking yeah. out the window. Yeah. I love how there's no football in this advert, which you don't often see when you get football. Yeah. It's so easy to re rely on skills in it. You go, oh, Ronaldinho, just do a couple of keepy uppies. It'll be great. But no, this one. Wayne, look out the window. Gigs, <laughs> act surprised. Ever just know it all. It's brilliant. It's a fantastic yeah. advert. It does. It makes me want to see Rooney act more. Yeah. Like yeah. in a proper role. <laughs> like see, because you know, I mean, like him as an actor is like the opposite of him as a footballer. You know, when he was at his best, it felt like he could do anything. But <laughs> when it comes to acting, it's like he can barely speak. <laughs> like, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> just make it sound like you're not reading, Wayne. We have, there is a legend. <laughs> No, just yeah. make it's like you're not reading Wayne. It's yeah. a legend coming. Oh, that'll do. Cut. <laughs> That's a wrap. Jeez. Love it. Right, let's move on to our second terrible Man United advert, which is for Turkish Airlines. Thank you.
great jingle. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, good, it's it? so jaunty, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> it's such a rip-off of that Nike Brazilian go out playing foot yeah. keepy uppies around the airport. <laughs> Instead of Ronaldo and Roberto Carlos, you've got Darren Fletcher and Johnny Evans. So yeah. that's, that's good, isn't it? Bebe in there as well, I believe. Um, yeah. The De Silva twins in there. Oh, they're twins. That's funny. Commercial partners of Man United tend to get a lot for their money. Um, and I found an in-flight kind of information um, kind of thing from Turkish, Air- Turkish Airlines. That, you know, like, this is where you, you know, this is how to put your seatbelt on and stuff like that. And they made one of these starring all the Man United players, including a bit where, um, you know, the slide where if the plane crashes into the sea and you're probably going to die and freeze to death or starve to death, you know, that bit they did a little kind of, if, if the plane crashes into the sea, just go down the slide into the boat and we'll deal with what happens after that. There's a bit where all the Man United players are just bundling down it and they're like, oh no, not like that. Oh, <laughs> Man United, what are you like? I love That's it. so silly. I love how uh, Paul Scholes is just grumpily reading the Telegraph. <laughs> Such Quite clearly player. doesn't want to be there, does he? Yeah, absolutely. No interest in it at Probably all. Probably the best player there and he's just like, no, I don't yeah. want to be involved in Not it. even joining in with the kickabout. I can't yeah. be bothered. <laughs> It's like his teammates are loving life and listening to lounge lizard jazz. <laughs> and he's got the attitude of like, if that ball comes over my wall one more time, I'm going to put a bloody knife through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I hate thought- that. Paul Scholes, if you knocked your ball into Paul Scholes' garden, he would not be sympathetic. He if would he not- came in, yeah. he'd volley it out of the atmosphere. He'd <laughs> somehow volley it away yeah. from like, out of the border of your own country. Even if you were practicing really hard and you were doing all the professional drills and stuff yeah. and you were clearly doing everything you could to become a pro, he'd be like, for God's sake, <laughs> but enough of this. I thought that uh, Berbatov had the same a- attitude at first. Uh, he, he likes oh, you to think on, that. Man. But then he joined in. He took <laughs> the ball away and he's like, no, you're not playing. Yeah. And then he kicked it back like, oh, you're a, you're a joker, man. You're a joker and you're oh, ruining that. that. Yeah, you can't not love Berbatov. Doesn't matter who you support. He crosses the lines. He's brilliant. And did you notice at one point, one of the footballers, I couldn't tell who it was because the camera's at the back. It's only a quick shot, but he's playing chess. Yeah, I did see that. But on a game pad, what kind of sick maniac? (laughs) (laughs) He's not going to bring his own chess board, is he? On a flight? I think it might be Jason Park. No, Jim, don't fuck. No, you, honestly, Jim, you need to pick your battles here. That's that's mental illness. Playing chess with a control pad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> play, you know, you need you need maybe bring a, a Wiimote or something like that. <laughs> it's nice to see them all having such a lovely time, isn't it? But then there's always one in there, and it's it's always Rooney. Mm. blasting it just boom. <laughs> what were you expecting there Rooney what was what was yeah. the best scenario there because Van Star has saved you from a lifetime of hurt could you imagine injuring Paul Bobby Chelton with a, a blast in the face a yeah. Rooney blast imagine on a plane a... Yeah. <laughs> oh you're getting so much trouble and rightly I, bloody so I don't know if this is by design or by like circumstance but I mean they obviously don't mess with Bobby Charlton but he's sitting on his own. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, he's oh, like, so he's sad, huh? look, looking around, looking at all the other lads having to keep you up. He's only playing like... <laughs> I, you know, he's an older gentleman. He just wants to read his book or his newspaper, much like Paul Skulls. Paul Skulls <laughs> would love to sit on his own, wouldn't he? He's probably fuming yeah. that he can't. <laughs> Can I sit with you, Bobby? And we'll sort of both be on our own. <laughs> I like the um, owl man, Darren Fletcher, who hooped at the sight of uh, Van der Sar's save at the end. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic. What we've got is our headline advert. If you've not seen this before, this is going to knock your socks off. <laughs> This is a day of history in the making as Legacy Squadron is about to take to the sky. You guys are footballers. What makes you think you could take on an alien army? We won 20 league titles and 12 FA Cups. Four League Cups and 20 Community Shields. I'm fairly certain we can handle a few out-of-towners. This is it. Everything we've prepared for. Strike hard, strike fast. Watch each other's backs out there. Remember, we're a team. Wayne, you're on point. Game on, lads. 
Mata, Young, Smalling, Blind, get the position. It's pronounced Blind. Roger that. Oh, uh, now it's the party. Young, cover the wing. Of course. Smalling, don't let him through. They're everywhere. Blind, move forward. It's Blind, like wind. Roger that. I can't check that. I got you. You thank me later. I thank you right now. You can't hold them back forever. Great shot. Nice battle, boys, but the war isn't over. We've still got a game to get to. You're cleared to return to Old Trafford. Bring it home, boys. Wow. Never. Juan Mata giving a massively underrated display there. Oh, he's fantastic. He, yeah. He should ditch this football in like and get himself some real acting training. I'd love to see him in some like fourth wall breaking theater production. Yeah. Like Bertolt <laughs> Brecht. I love like, oh, I thank you now. I thank you right now. Sells it really well. Got yeah, to say as well, Daily, Daily Blind has he sold his lines really well too. He's seen what the joke is and he's delivered it really, really well. It's blind, like wind. Chris Smalling though. Oh, <laughs> Chris. You can't hold them back forever. Which is definitely something he said in his professional career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also love like their credentials being like 20, 20 community shield. Yeah. Firstly, you you weren't involved with most of those title <laughs> yeah. wins. How many you of those lot. did you win, Daily Blind? Yeah, yeah. I've done the research. Three. You got three <laughs> trophies at Man United. <laughs> Likeable fella though, Daily Blend. A lot of time for him, yeah, and yeah, right. more so after that. I like but I like his look. Yeah, oh, he's a beautiful man, isn't he? Oh. The son of footballers tend to be really handsome, don't they? Um, but uh, just generally, I mean, Man United clearly had a tie-up with a studio because there's a few of these knocking about as well, and we will get onto some of the other ones in the future, I would imagine. Um, but I mean, Jeff Goldblum and Man United. Why has that not happened before? Yeah. yeah. Jeff Goldblum saying the name Wayne really made me laugh. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> it's funny you don't actually seeing the, see him saying the names of any of the players. Isn't yeah. it? It's almost as if the shots of him were some kind of boilerplate standard for loads of sporting franchises. Yeah. <laughs> the one they did for Bradford City in the late 90s was amazing. <laughs> um, Peter Briagree, stand by. <laughs> Nigel Pepper, activate. Yeah. Oh, uh, I've not seen that, the Independence Day follow-up. I'm sure it's really disappointing. Uh, especially anyone, now I've seen this. Do you think anyone saw it on the back of this advert? Like I going, was thinking, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, those Man United players have really sold it to me. Like Wayne Rooney made that film look really good. <laughs> and almost, and uh, Blind Like Wind made it look really good. On on the flip side of that as well, if you're like a Taiwanese teenager thinking, am I going to go Man United or Man City? Hang on, what is this? Like, is that going to maybe change your mind? Are you a Man United Man fan United for life because the they world. saved the world? I love that they're going back to Old Trafford. <laughs> like this, to this watch Sid and George. <laughs> yeah, this could have been set on the same day as the, uh, as the first advert. We have no idea, really. It's just, it's so, it's so funny. I mean, the, all of these adverts are from the same era, aren't they? When United yeah. like really ramped up their commercial stuff. Um and it's how they can, you know, that's how they're so big and fair play to them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just love the thought of them then flying back to play a game as if, <laughs> like, the as if football would carry on with a global alien invasion. It's like, Look, we've just, yeah. we've got to get these fixtures played. You thought coronavirus was bad, but we managed to get through it. So we're going to apply the same sort of logic to this. Yeah. Look, we've got Burnley away on Saturday. We need... <laughs> we've got Ipswich in the cup on <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> I love how they think that the the credentials of the trophies is going to save them from like District Nine descending upon. Them. <laughs> Sorry, twenty community shields. Did you say? <laughs> yeah. Embarrassing they're mentioning shield. that at all in any context, <laughs> let alone this one. Right then, thank you for joining us. Once again, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and leave us a comment. And if you want to send us an advert to look at, all the details you need to get in touch with us all across the platforms are in the description below. So thank you very much. Enjoy your lives and we'll see you next time. Mwah. Come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds. Cause keep the bottle. Don't lose your Reds for 90 minutes. We'll let them know it's Man United. Here we go. Robson, Kanchelskis and Giggs. Mm -hmm.